Uh, Kobe Bryant touched greatness throughout his 20-year NBA career, which ended less than a year ago. Um, so he knows a greatness when he sees it. And um, when the question came up recently on ESPN from Sage Steele about who he would pick for MVP, uh, he couldn't choose uh, between uh, James Harden and Russell Westbrook. He you know, said that this might be the first year that the league sees co-MVP winners. Uh, we've seen it in football, I believe it was was it back in 2004 when the award was given to both Peyton Manning and uh, Steve McNair, I think it was. Uh, in the NBA, we've seen co-rookie of the year winners. I remember back in 95, it was Grant Hill and Jason Kidd. But we've never seen in the NBA as far as the league MVP, regular season MVP. Um, there's a, both did have a great case. Uh, James Harden is averaging more than 29 points per game, uh, second in the NBA, just marginally ahead of Isaiah Thomas, who's third in the NBA scoring. And he leads the NBA in assists at 11.3 uh, per game. Uh, the Rockets, I believe, are 51 and 22, last I checked. They're on pace to win 57 games, which is within uh, distance of the franchise record, which is 58 and 94, which is the first year they won championship. Um, and they have one of the league's most potent offenses. Then you have Russell Westbrook. This is a team that many people didn't think would win more than 30 games. And they uh, are 42 and 31. They're on pace to win about 47, 48 games, which far exceed expectations. He leads the NBA in scoring. He's on, uh, he's pretty much assured of being just the second man in NBA history. And that's a 70 year history of averaging a triple double. Uh, he's within distance, striking distance of breaking Oscar Robertson's record for most triple doubles in the season, which is 41. Uh, although I think Will Chamberlain really owns that record, but officially it's Oscar with 41. Um, so this is going to be an exciting MVP race. Uh, of course, there's Kawhi Leonard out there. Uh, so he has to be mentioned as well, but uh, tell me who, who you guys think on the window ward. How this thing's going to be broken down. Tell me what you guys think.